Good morning. My name is Ken Kennedy. I am here from Al Tarbiya Namajijia Schools. I am going to present a lesson this morning on literature for grade 10. And the lesson will be about the briefcase. Right. Good morning, fellow students. This morning we are going to look at a literature lesson for grade 10. This is week 9, day number 1. And of course it will be, the date will be Sunday, the 15th of March. And we are going to look at a new story today called The Briefcase. This you'll find in your collection books on page 361. 361. Please open your books or your phone, your e-resources there on page 361 with the briefcase. Okay. Right, find it first quickly. And while you're looking at that, our lesson objectives for this morning, what are we going to do this morning? We're going to start a new story and we're going to have a look at how to study this text according to the features of the collections textbook and then we're going to complete a worksheet number worksheet 9.1 for Wednesday the 18th of March right so first we're going to look at some information and secondly to complete a worksheet have you all got the text fantastic so let's go and have a look at what must we do when we find a new story or when we start a new story right you know this book collections by now you've been studying stories from it for a while and by now that you know that when we start a new story there's always something that we can do before we even read the story and if you didn't know or you forgot about this let's just quickly refresh your memory here's some interesting stuff and here's a few pointers and tips that you can keep in mind whenever we start a new story so how do we study this book collections ah what a stupid question you know how to study this don't you you've done this lots of times but maybe you didn't know about this so let's have a look at this this book collections was written by or compiled by a few very clever people but you know what they put this book together in the form of collections to help us and to make it easy for us to study now if we look at each new collection all the stories in this book is organized in the form of collections collections means what it means like a group of things right so they've taken a few stories or texts we call them texts because they're not all stories some of them are essays some of them are short stories some of them are articles so they put all these things together into one collection now how did they do that so they took these stories and they put them together according to a main theme at the beginning of each collection we know that the collections are numbered, collection number one, collection number two, collection number three. So we are currently going busy with collection number six. So what is the main theme at the beginning of collection number six? If we go to the beginning of collection number six, we'll find that there's a picture at the beginning of collection number six. What does the picture tell us? about or does it tell us something about the collection secondly you know also by now that there is a heading a main theme at the bottom or the beginning of the collection and if you haven't seen it before there's also a quote at the beginning of the collection so let's have a look let's have a look at collection number six to see what it looks like please turn for me to this page Right, collection number six. Right, there you'll see that it says collection number six. Right, and you'll see that there's a picture there. There's a little, it seems like a little boy there. There's some birds flying. And this is not outside in the countryside. This is outside 
in a type of a town maybe not a city maybe a town and so the picture says this might not be a city this might be a town or a small town this we would say that that is a like a rural scene rural meaning small town and we see some birds there flying so flying birds what is this bird what do they what do the birds suggest what are the birds doing there why did they put a picture of birds in there so we'll have to look at the theme to maybe guess what the birds are doing what do, what do those birds have to do with the theme so let's have a look what is the theme about this theme says hard one liberty hard one liberty what does liberty mean come you you guys that are clever what does liberty mean liberty means yes i'm sure you guessed it liberty means freedom right freedom freedom to be free and hard one hard one means when somebody is not free you must work hard to be free so hard one to win something to get your freedom hard one liberty hard one freedom so birds are free aren't they except when they are in a cage but these birds are free aren't they yes they are flying around so maybe those birds have something to do with freedom that's why they put the picture there it's not such a clear picture but if we understand what that is we can maybe say ah now i know why they put the birds in there because that's about freedom but not everybody is free some people must get freedom by working very hard for it so in this chapter or in this collection we're going to see something about liberty or freedom we can think about that let's like look at the quote maybe the quote can tell us a little bit more about this liberty or freedom idea so what's the quote about check the quote quickly the quotes there at the bottom read the quote quickly for yourself and check who is the person that's saying these words quickly have a look okay right so let's have a look the quote says there is no easy walk to freedom anywhere and this is said by mr nelson mandela who comes from south africa right so there is no easy walk to freedom anywhere so when you want freedom it's difficult to get freedom it's not easy so now if we look at collection number six we can see that this is about freedom and he said we can think about this and say freedom is difficult to get if you don't have freedom it's always difficult to get freedom and the picture says oh man freedom we want freedom we all want to be free don't we and when we are free we sometimes forget that it's something very valuable there are other people that are not free okay so let's have a look what's the next thing that we are going to look at to find out what our story that we're going to do today what what's our story about so we know now that our story that we're going to look at the briefcase has got something to do with liberty with freedom and maybe it's got something to do with somebody who is not free so let's have a look okay on the next page if you turn the page around on page 318 you'll see that there's some explanation we call this the theme description let me turn to page 318 quickly and see if i can show find it for you 318 so on page 317 there's our page our theme page if we turn the page around there you'll find a page like this and have you ever seen this there's a description of what this theme is all about so let's have a look what does this part say it says this collection travels around the world to explore in other words to find out how people win their freedom from oppression so we were we were right when we said this has something to do with freedom people not being free so all over the world in this collection there's some stories from all over the world about people that are not free right and how did they get their freedom okay so this you'll find over here in the theme description so what's the next thing that we can do before we read the story to find out what the story is all about 
let's have a look. Now, if we turn to our story this morning, we'll see that our story has some interesting information first. We have a picture of the person that wrote the story. Here we have the picture of the person that wrote the story. We call this the writer or the author. And we'll see that here at the top it says background. Background. Right, so what's, what can we learn about the writer? And the people that compiled this book, they were very helpful. They always give us some information about the writer. And they always give us some information about the story that the writer wrote. So, if you are clever, and if you read this, you will already know what the story is about. Okay, so, we're going to read through that. I want you to read through that for me at home, because you're going to answer your worksheet, and some information is in there, that you need to answer or complete your worksheet. So, look at this background of the writer, so that, and see if you can understand what the story is all about. So what's next? Next, what is the title of the text? What is the title? What is the name of the story that we're going to do? So here you find in your book, they give us the title. Always the compilers of the book, they try to make it easy for us. And they give us a picture of what the story is about. So if you look at this picture, you can already know what the story is about. So let's have a look. The story's name is The Briefcase. The Briefcase. Now, what is a briefcase? There you see a picture of a briefcase. Briefcase is that thing that somebody carries around with papers and stuff inside. So it's almost like a school case, but a school case for a, an adult. So this is called a briefcase. But inside the briefcase, we see something else. There's like it's almost like an, something, a lot of stars and stuff. Okay, so guys, have a look at this and then start reading through the text for us and answer the worksheet that we have compiled for you and submit the worksheet for us via Classera. Right, thank you very much. That concludes our lesson this morning. So thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it.